Hello, I am the programming dunce, and I'm going to introduce Windows C++ programming. Windows provides the Windows API, which was written in C, meaning they use a series of low-level function calls and their own data types. First, I'll briefly go over the basic Windows application before moving on to the basics of MFC. A Windows application has a function called WinMain, which takes four parameters. Optionally, you can use WinMain instead, which uses Unicode instead of ANSI. Unicode uses wide characters rather than basic characters, meaning they can represent a wider array of characters than ANSI characters can. These parameters are listed in the code image in the screen. Usually, the function has specific jobs. Specify what type of window you want, register the window with the operating system, create the window and hold on to its handle, and then loop for messages. A handle is a reference to an object that is stored by Windows rather than your application. There are handles for a lot of resources such as actual windows, instances of an application running, files, etc. All of those objects are stored in Windows's memory, not your application's memory, hence why you have handles to these objects rather than pointers. You design your window using a win class structure, which could have extensions to it, such as win class x. This structure contains information like the window style, program instance, class name, amongst other features. I'm not going into the details of the structure here, although I have left links regarding this information in the description below. Once you ha do have your window and it appears on screen, your application has to react to all of the various mouse clicks and keystrokes Windows decides is your application's responsibility to handle. It does so through a function usually called winproc. You could hypothetically call this function whatever you want, as a pointer to the function is one of the attributes of the win class structure mentioned earlier. Windows doesn't care what it's called, it just needs to know where it is. After showing the window, Win main should have a loop where it listens for messages. If it gets a message, it should translate and dispatch the message. The dispatch message function tells Windows to call your winproc function, whose job it is to determine what message is being sent and handle that message, as well as any additional message information accompanying it. That is the basic Windows program. Obviously, most programs are going to have to have more elaborate message handlers than that. However, you do run the risk of having a bloated program where it is hard to keep track of what does what. If you want to write the next Microsoft Office or a browser or some animation program, this setup will have you running into walls when adding functionality or debugging. Consequently, Microsoft introduced the Microsoft Foundation Class Library, or MFC. This library adds an object-oriented layer around the core Windows API and provides a buffer between you and the Windows application structure we just went over. There are three major classes from which you will derive your own classes, CView, CDocument, and CWinApp. The C Win app contains code to set up your application and establishes your document and view architecture. The C document class is meant to hold your application's data and should be responsible for serializing your data, saving and loading. C view class is responsible for retrieving your application data and drawing it to your window. There are two major variants of the MFC application, the single view application and the multi-view application. In a single view application, you only have one view shown at a time. Therefore, you might have the C mainframe, but no C child frame. 
The C mainframe represents the main window of your application, which contains your view. If you have a multi-view, then you will have a C child frame class as your mainframe will host many child windows. You could have them tabbed instead of a series of mini windows, but each view is held by a child window. If MS Paint is an MFC application, it would likely be a single view application. Microsoft Office 2010 would likely be a multi-view document MFC application. Most of the basics of MFC I learned from books like Microsoft Visual C++, Windows Applications by Example, and Ivor Horton's Beginning Visual C++ 2013, Wrong's Beginning Guides. In fact, for the basic Windows API program, I used Beginning DirectX 11 game programming for reference. The MFC books I referenced focus on features like serialization, like saving and loading objects, message maps, printing, basic drawing, and basic toolbar management. I will focus more on topics such as incorporating DirectX into MFC, extension DLLs, supporting multiple file formats, as well as exploring different view types. I will also focus on alternatives to serialization, the C dialog, and other aspects that make MFC applications more flexible. This could take me time as I have to create the application myself and make sure my material is accurate and works. Therefore, I won't be able to upload a video as often as I would like. However, I am committed to this channel as well as other less technical channels I have. Thank you for watching and I look forward to uploading more videos in the future.